Transistors are nonlinear components. This prevents us from applying our usual tools for circuit analysis, like the superposition principle. If we still want to use them, we have to linearize the transistor. The linearization of a transistor is performed around its operating point. If we move around this point just a little, we can replace the nonlinear characteristic with a linear function as shown here for the output characteristic. These linear functions are determined by the small signal parameters. There are a couple of small signal parameters which are derived from the different characteristics of our transistor. Maybe the most important one is the transconductance GM. The transconductance GM gives the slope of the transfer characteristic and tells us how well the transistor responds to changes of the base emitter voltage. The transconductance can be calculated easily. Let's assume we operate our bipolar transistor somewhere in the forward active region. We just substitute for the collector current and calculate the derivative with respect to VBE. The transconductance GM equals IC divided by VT. The small signal current gain, beta, is the slope of the current gain characteristic, which can be approximated by the current gain, B. The slope of the input characteristic is proportional to the small signal input impedance, RBE. To calculate RBE, we apply the chain rule. The small signal input impedance is then simply beta divided by GM. The small signal output impedance, RCE, is the inverse derivative of the output characteristic. The calculation itself is not complicated and rather straightforward. All these different small signal parameters form the small signal equivalent circuit. For our circuit analysis, we simply replace the actual transistor with the equivalent circuit and apply methods like the superposition principle as usual.